what's going on guys welcome back to 3d arcade we are here for week three of the bbr we're taking on the montreal mylotics coached by matt o'shea if you guys are in the draft community you probably know who he is we're going to be picking the rules i am nervous as always we're both zero and two negative four we have a completely even team and uh as it stands i feel like we have a pretty good matchup because he doesn't really have a great dragapult answer uh, and we're going to see what's going on here. As you can see, our team, we got Komala Lucario, Iron Treads, Aspathra, Serena, and Dragapult. For those who are not aware and not following in the server, we did have two trades. We dropped Lorantis and Woshian for Lora uh, for uh, Serena and Komala, and they ended up both coming this week. So that's pretty cool. Uh, big threats for us this week are Garganackle. <laughs> Garganackle is his best answer for Dragapult. Uh, I believe we can get plus one with uh, Dragapult, we can actually kill him in three hits uh, with no chip. Hopefully we can get some chip. Serena is here for that. Most of our Pokemon have a way to hit him. We got special Lucario, physical iron treads, treads is scarfed. We got a couple special answers. Uh, Scarf or Specs Golden Go, big concerns for us this week. Hitting the Focus Blast and getting the read onto Kamala, gonna be huge for Matt. And we're gonna see what goes down. He's probably doing his team entry right now. And uh, basically, man, I'm just here hoping that everything goes well, hoping we have a good time. Let me put on the repeat for the music. And uh, yeah, that's it. We we did a good amount of prep this month, uh, this month, this week for this. We're playing right before Christmas, so happy holidays to those who celebrate Christmas or any other holiday around this time. And we are going to see pretty similar team to what I expected, slight mix up. Uh, pretty much had this exact team in Mox, except Breloom is here uh, instead of Golden Go, actually. He brought no Golden Go. Probably figured it gets hit by the Dragapult, so that's a fun way to start. Without Golden Go here, uh, most likely Scarf Candidate, probably Hydreigon. Uh... Hydreigon on top of Sandy Shocks and Garganackle all have Stealth Rocks. Uh, Sandy Shocks might have some other stuff. I'm not totally sure that Slow King is there. Uh, Slow King Ghostberry, something we're gonna have to be mindful of. And uh, most likely, it's possible he's got a Scarf Iron Valiant, so I don't really want to start here. I think I am gonna lead Dragapult and just see what he comes in with. Do not not pick the rest of your team, Jordan. And we're gonna jump on in here. I'm feeling okay, I'm feeling okay. Not having the Golden Go kind of throws me off. That was on like every version of the team. I felt like Golden Go and uh, Glaceon on his squad were both really good picks for us, uh, for him this week. Uh, that said, his Glaceon and his Hydreigon are Terra Captains. Glaceon's not here, so we won't talk about it, but that Hydreigon is Terra Poison. So we're gonna see what happens there. Got that shiny Komala in the background of our trainer card. We're gonna see what's going down. All right, we got Matt, Kaiba. So that's gonna be Iron Valiant right out of the freaking gate. Uh, he cannot kill us with Scarf. Man, if he Swords Dances this, he's freaking wild. So we don't really have the best switch in for Iron Valiant. Uh, so I'm gonna go Kamala because he's a little more expendable. If he stays in, he's feeling pretty good or maybe scarfed. I'm worried about Swords Dance. If he's got Swords Dance, he might just sweep us right off the top. Knock off. There goes our AV. He did a bunch of damage. So let me check that out. I'm gonna try to not calc very much in this game, but that felt really strong. He's not Kamala 59 to 50. He's definitely max attack. He's probably not banded. He's gonna outspeed us. Um, we're gonna do a good amount with Zen Headbutt, but I'm not really worried about that. Let's just take the U-turn, get the momentum on whatever he's got here. Salt Bay. Okay, there it is. Salt Bay. This thing's probably Rocky Helmet, if I had to guess. Yep. And we're gonna go to Serena. And I wanna write down Garga is Rocky Helmet. And he's got physical boy. 
Getting in position is going to be a little bit different here. What does he want to bring in on this? Um, probably Breloom. I'm not going to assume he's going to stay in right here. Matt's a pretty good player. He's pretty switch heavy. I think he tries to make a read. He's not used to me being super switch heavy, I don't think, because last time we played, uh, I believe, was BBR Season 3, and I got 6-0, so uh, a little better than I was then, but not super better. Uh, might choke it here. Um, not the worst deal. He stays in. So he's going for something. Not loving that. I'm actually going to go right back into Kamala because it's the most expendable Mon we have, and I think he's going for the Salt Cure. It's good to know how he's doing here. Yeah. He figured I was going to go for the Switch again. We're pretty Switch heavy. Do I die? I think I die. Yeah. Kamala is going to go down to Gargamackle. Kamala dies to Garganackle. No kills there. What does Garganackle take from Treads? He's taken two hits of U-Turn. He's probably not in range for that yet. It's Pathra. I'm gonna get away with it pretty fast, but let's, let's bring Serena in. This Garganackle is the biggest thing for us to play around. I'm fine if he wants to hit me. He's clearly comfortable staying in. I'm going to assume Hydreigon. But I can't be totally positive. He's definitely thinking about it. He's not staying this time. He's super heavy defense. He's probably max max. Protect. What does want to eat that? Breloom, not Sandy Shocks. He probably goes Breloom. He will outspeed us if he's max speed, which he likely will be. I'm gonna spin and get the speed boost on whatever wants to come in here. There's the Ouija, so that's Breloom for sure. Should be seeing 17 to 21, that's about right. Oh, we got the crit, so that's important. He's probably gonna wanna spore something, but I'm in front of him. And we don't wanna see that happen. I'm gonna high jump kick. If he protects, we're in trouble. Rock tomb, okay. I think, I think we're going to see him let this go down. I don't know for a fact he's going to let this go down. It's pretty good for him. But why, why reposition? Yeah, he's going to let it go down. So we're going to see Serena kill that. So we're 5-5. Five, five. Serena needs to be dedicated at this point. should have wrote down the rest of his team I'm gonna bring his path right in what does he want to bring in we do have the covert cloak on Serena in case you guys don't know the covert cloak is a new item that blocks secondary effects and it does block that uh, does block that salt cure secondary effect so 
we can catch him in, we're good. He's taken a decent amount of chimp that I chip that I believe he'll be too uh, too hit KO'd now by Dragapult. Pants. It's gonna be you, Sloking. I don't want that. Is this thing? I'm kind of cool letting myself die here, seeing if he's spadef. Hmm. I'm gonna protect. T wave. He wants to slow me down. Iron Treads does not do enough to switch, so we're just going to start speeding up. We're going to see that do very, very little. That looks like about right, so I'm going to assume he's max HP, max spadef. And now we are T-waved. But we should still very much outspeed this we are plus two so we are full speed what does he want to bring in on a t-wave he's not gonna kill me with anything so i'm gonna lumina crash and make sure that i get whatever it is oh that's unfortunate surf wow he did 50 that does a lot Shadow Ball. He is Ghost. So he's no item. And he's at 50%, so he knows he dies, and he's minus three. If I somehow live, we get to claim the Slow King. And now we're plus four. I don't really want to claim the Slow King, to be honest with you, because we don't really have a target. Uh, for Pult to set up on. We do have the Shadow Ball. He might want to save this. What, does, what would he want to bring in? Oh, that's tough. I might kill it, not play that game. Withdraws. Salt Bay. There's Pathra in front of this. That's actually really good for us. He just doesn't know it. We're gonna see that not do very much. We are plus five. So if we don't get, um, Lumina Crash is actually pretty much our best move. So we're gonna put him at negative two. He's very, very, very low. We're gonna see him claim. Garga, as Pathra dies to Garga Knackle. We're gonna bring Serena in. We're getting in a good position. We're getting in a very, very, very good position. He just doesn't know it. He might know it, but I don't think he knows it. He's gonna let Garganackle go down. That's dope. That is dope. Serena kills Garganackle. Awesome. So it's two, it's four, four right now. Serena's obviously not in the best spot, but we know we got rid of the ghost berry. Slowking is ghost berry and it has been used, which means if we can get positioned on uh, Dra uh, Dragapult, we're in a really, 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 really good spot. And we need to soon. Puppet. Who's Puppet? Hydreigon.
We're definitely gonna be slower than him, so let's just let him claim. We're gonna force Terra. High Dragon kills Serena. We forced Terra. And he's a D dance. So we're going into Iron Treads because we can kill. He's on Terra. Oh shit. <laughs> we actually might be screwed. Yeah, we actually might be screwed because he's D-Dance. I ring Lucario in first. He's physical, he's plus one. He's definitely gonna outspeed. If he D-Dances again, he's crazy. He probably kills. Yeah, we're dead. We lost. <sighs> All right, guys, I want you to know I put in weeks and weeks of prep. I've been prepping for this for two weeks. And uh, I'm just screwed. Can't kill him. I told him. I told my front office that this was going to happen. And he was like, no, it's fine. I, I set up just a little too late. Lefties. Citrus. Well, he's still in range, so if he somehow doesn't kill but he definitely kills at plus one. Oh. does he let me claim it i'm really upset about that earthquake well uh zen headbutt <laughs> I think this is a big turn. I really thought he had me here. Um, this is a 10% chance to miss, I think. Withdraws. Pants. I think that was his win con. I'm gonna let him kill me. It's better for me. And we're gonna tear a ghost and D dance. What did he just hit me with? Crap, I should have been paying attention. He stayed in. So he's planning to do damage with whatever it was. This is my only chance for the win con though. Who else died? Someone else is dead. He just killed him. Slow King kills Iron Treads. T-Wave, that's not good. because I'm parried. Crap, I need to be parried. What's our time? Four minutes. Hi, Dragon. Is that gonna put me in range? I think he won. The para was freaking huge. Yeah, it, well, he's not banded.
Kaiba is Iron Valiant. <sighs> He's Joy Scarfed. Well, fuck me. <laughs> good, good game, Matt. Uh, we're going to go winless this season. I'm pretty sure this is our best matchup all season. Uh, Iron Valiant kills Dragapults. Uh, I am very frustrated with my front office at the moment, just full disclosure, because both the D-Dance High Dragon and the Scarf Iron Valiant were things I said were coming that he told me were not coming, and I lost because of them. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be that. Iron Valiant kills uh, Serena. Thank you guys for watching. I'll check you guys back here next week for week four. I don't know who we're playing right now. Uh, but I'm gonna go uh, shake this off. So I'll catch you guys later. GG's to Matt. Peace out, y'all.